Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a quick tip how to fix your license plate. Sometimes when you, uh, and, and that could be for a new dealer, because uh, that's gonna happen a lot to you. Or maybe even if you're a private person, just wanna fix your plate. Sometimes you, when you take the back plate out, there's that little plastic thing that pops out and it's very difficult to put the screw back in, right? It just screws the whole thing up. Anyway, let's, let's, let's check it out. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Uh, so if you're a new deal, like I mentioned, it's kind of uh, going to be a common problem for you and it's going to be a pain in the ass to try to figure out how to fix this. And I have seen it because I bought cars from auction already where the plate's still on it because somebody used double-edged tape to stick the plate back on or some kind of getaway to fix the plate, okay? Don't do that for the customer. It's not a good experience. They wouldn't know right away, but the moment they try to take the plate out, it's not going to be good, okay? So it's actually a very, very easy fix. So when the first one pops out... Uh, it is better to just remove the second one if you can because most likely it's cross-threaded the same way uh for me here in canada we just i just went to canadian tire and then buy this small pack here it has like uh four kind of plugs that kind of just perfectly square and just kind of pops into the hole and you can put the screws in it, okay i'm sure if you're in the states any kind of auto parts place should have that uh maybe even some home depots maybe might have that but either way i found mine at our local uh canadian tire okay so uh first we just basically um put it over the hole and then give it a tap okay now don't judge me i was trying to do it quickly and that's the, the closest hammer i can find so i know it's big as fuck but that that's what i had okay so you just kind of tap that in and that is perfectly fine in this kit it came with a screw with a allen key and uh it's kind of a little bit uh, tricky to uh, put that in. I just still use the re regular, the traditional plate, screw plates or whatever you want to call them. Uh, on the other side, uh, again, when I removed the plate, it came out too. So we're just going to replace both of them. Sometimes you might find it's really hard uh, uh, to tap it in. Okay. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway, um, on the left side, uh, the, the hole was bigger. So it's easier to push it in. <laughs> okay. My, my head's going to the wrong space right now. It was easier to push it in. On the other side, it was tighter, so I had to tap, tap it in a little bit harder with the hammer. Uh, but either way, it worked. I used the regular plate screws or screw plates, whatever you want to call it. And now the plate is perfectly secure. So again, do it the right way. Just an easy, quick tip. And uh, it sounds like common sense, but I know sometimes when you realize that the, the plastic thing break out, it can be a little bit frustrating. I've been there and I was trying to wonder how to fix this. Where do I get this random weird shit? and then i did find it so it is a tip for you trying to figure out how to do it uh this is how and then again in, in your automotive uh, section uh at any of your auto store zones or auto stores or whatever you want to call them um normally wherever they sell those license plate covers you know those those uh clear covers or blue covers you normally put on your plate in that section uh should have it because it's kind of like in the same uh class of shit like you know plastic stuff anyway enough of that ramble good luck fix the plate the right way and uh, hope that was a great tip for you, okay? Thanks for watching. Peace.